Okay, uh, this video is for your practical electricity tutorial. A immersion heater is labeled 12 volts and 60 watts. So when I see all these numbers, I must give them an identity. So 12 volts definitely will be V and P. And what is the current in the heater? So what is the current in the heater when connected to a 12 volt supply? Use P equals to IV. 60 equals to I. 12. I equals to 5 and 12. So answer is B. Next. A 3 kilowatt heater is switched on for 4 hours. So this is actually my P. It's switched on for 4 hours. Okay, the cost of 1 kWh of electricity is 24 cents. Or... 0.24 dollars. Okay, so 1 kWh, it is 0.24 dollars. So we have to calculate how much is the cost, the money. Whenever there's money involved, you have to change your power to kW. Do we have it in kW already? Yes. But in your WA, would I be so nice to leave it in kW? I wouldn't. You don't know me. Then, for time, Guys, for time, it always has to be in hours. Is it already in hours? Yes. So we use a formula E equals to P times T. E equals to PT. So I get 3. I just put the units here. Huh? Multiplied by 4 hours. So doing the multiplication for the numbers, I get 12. And I get for the units is 12 kWh. By right, you don't need to put the units. But it's just there to make sure that you have converted your power to kW and your time to hours. It is very important. So I warn you first, in my exam, I will give your power other than kilowatt. I will need you all to convert. I will give the time in seconds or minutes other than hours. Yeah. So because this is 12 kWh, and 1 kWh is uh, 0 0.24, so 12 kWh will be 0 0.96. Correct? No, ha. Huh? Will be how much? My mental sum. Oh, 2.88, yes. So answer is D. Okay, next. It shows an unsafe use of an extension cable. So what are the three hazards? Wait, wait, the three hazards. Uh, no, electric shock is a consequence. Over heating, we also have exposed wires. And after that, the last one we have damp conditions. So what is this electrical hazard? It is overheating the wall socket. Okay, so answer is C. Okay, question four. Each branch of a domestic circuit often includes a circuit breaker. In which wire is a circuit breaker connected to and what happens when a large current passes through? Live wire. And what happens? It, it disconnects the circuit. Can you add in this for me? And this connects the circuit and uh, this connects, sorry, uh, no, the appliances from the high voltage. Okay, I need this. Sometimes they will ask you why is it that we need it in the live wire, then you must say that it disconnects the appliances from the high voltage. Okay? But before that, there is also this part whereby the circuit breaker we have the circuit breaker to trip. The circuit breaker trips and creates an open circuit. Okay. So if you read this before your exam, you will know that what is the purpose of circuit breaker when there's excessive current, it will trip and 
creates an open circuit and therefore it will disconnect the appliances from the high voltage. Okay, so answer will then be A. The top one. Oh. Okay. There is no earth wire. This is a metal case. What is the what is the voltage of the live wire, live terminal? Live terminal, what is the voltage? Live is neutral is zero volts. Huh? So now there's an electrical fault. Let's say the wire spread. The wire spread, huh? Spread means some came out and touched the metal casing. What is the potential of this metal casing now? It will be a 240. Very dangerous. Correct? So now this metal casing, somebody forget to put a fire. There's no earth fire link to it. Only got fuse. Correct? So somebody, uh, let's say this is a heater. Somebody go and touch this heater. The, the person touched the heater, right? The person is standing on ground, right? There is now a potential difference between the metal casing 240 volts and the ground 240, uh, 0 volts. So there's a potential difference. So now current will flow, a large current will then flow through the person. Eventually, the fuse will melt, but the person already suffers an electric shock. Yes, the fuse melt. Okay, the fuse eventually protected these appliances, but the person already got electric shock. Yes. Yes, from getting an electric shock. Because let's say now I put in a earth wire. I put in earth wire. Huh? Okay, earth wire. It is earth ready. Now, earth wire is high or low resistance. Very, very low. Compared to us, it is low resistance. That's why we don't use human for wires. Right, we want to use a material that is of low resistance for the current to flow through. So, will the current prefer to flow through you or the earth wire? Earth wire because of its lower resistance. So, when I touch it, the earth wire saves me because he becomes a path whereby the current flows through. And I'm safe from it. Resistor of resistance R. So I have R. It is connected to a battery of EMF V. There's a current I in the resistor. Power is dissipated P over a period of time P. Energy transfer is P. Which expression is correct? So I don't even need to go through all this. I just need to find the correct answer. Incorrect, incorrect, uh, correct, incorrect. So answer is C. Okay? Dissipated means uh, given out. Okay? Yes, the rest are not... Yeah, they any how good. Okay, uh, now this one. The polling shows the three wires of power supply. So we have brown wire. Brown wire is uh, which uh, wire? Live. Live. I already told you, you touch a live wire, something brown will come out from you. Blue wire is neutral. Okay, so you need to know this. Power supply is 200 volts, so this is my V, this is my R. What amount of current? Current is I, flows through each of the wires when the water heater is switched on. Blue is zero, huh? Wrong. When it is connected properly, connected properly, and working properly, current in earth, it is zero ampere. Right? There shouldn't be any current in earth wire when the appliances is working properly. Earth wire is only when there is an electrical fault. Okay, so with that, I can really choose like these three options. That means A is out. 
can. How do we determine the amount of current flowing? We have V, we have R. So V equals to IR, right? Please do your math manipulation correctly. 25, so I should get I to be 8 ampere. That means I have 8 ampere. The blue wire is the path whereby the current goes back. Remember, the current don't become zero. 8 ampere comes out, 8 ampere goes back. Can? So answer is B. Right? Okay, a plug is wrongly wired. This one you all need to know, huh? And it has a metal case. When you see metal case, what do you think of? Earth wire. That means it must have earth wire. If you think of earth wire, what? Uh, after earth wire, what do you think of next? Must have three pin plug. If you think of three pin plug, what must you think of? It must have a fuse. All of these are actually found in your three pin plug. That means metal case. Definitely must have earth wire. Definitely it is in a three pin plug. Definitely there will be a fuse. Okay. So now fuse is this. This is the live wire. Okay. So it's correct. This is the earth wire. This is neutral wire. Which wire is wired incorrectly? Yes. The earth and the neutral are swapped. So earth and neutral are swap. So when current comes out from the uh, live wire, right, and into the appliances, so the appliances is like that, and goes back to earth, uh, okay, but your earth wire is now connected to To the metal casing. The neutral wire. This one is. This one goes to the heater, right? Or the appliances, right? That means you don't have a live wire. Like. That means you don't have a live wire. Uh, sorry, you don't have an earth wire. You see, uh, your live wire, it is 240 volts. But now, your this wire, Okay, it is connected to the metal casing. So this is the plug. So this is this is neutral, this is live, this is up. Okay, so this part goes to the circuit. So my this wire. It is now swap. So this originally was to the metal casing. Originally was to the metal casing. But now, instead of going to the metal, instead of going to a pin, it goes to neutral. Agree? That means this is now connected to the metal casing. So my live wire goes in like that goes and it will touch the metal casing isn't it you will touch the metal casing that means my metal casing is live my metal casing is live okay my metal casing is live during a short circuit Okay, a uh, fuse is used to prevent excessive current flow. Where should the fuse be connected? Actually, for this, right, the fuse diagram is wrong. 
No, the fuel should be like that. This is the resistor. So it should be A, connected firstly to light. Your switch also connected to light. Okay, so circuit breaker, switch and fuse connected to light. Okay, question 9. We have three identical lamps, L1, L2 and L3. Each one is 230 volts and 100 watts. They are connected to a 230 volts. The ammeter reading is 0.78 ampere. So this is my current. Okay, the resistance of the lamp decreases with the potential difference applied across them. Huh? If the cost of electricity is 0.21, what is the cost of turning on these three lamps for 8 hours? Okay, so we have to calculate for each lamp what is the power. But are they all given 230 volts? Which one is given 230 volts? L1. L1, very good. So this one is given 230 volts, so this will be 100 watts. Correct? Is this given uh, 230 volts? No, right? It's actually given only 115 volts, isn't it? 115 volts, huh? because in a series, they are sharing the sum of it, 115 volts, yes? That means their voltage is divided by 2. That means the power will be divided by 4. We did this, right? Because P equals IV. Yes, divided by 4, huh? because voltage divided by 2. I do this, huh? P equals to V squared over R. Their voltage divided by 2, and because of the square, the power will be divided by 4. So it will be one quarter of that. So this will be 25 watts and 25 watts. If 1kWh is 21 cents, so how much is it? 160. So answer is C. Can? So this question is tough. Like. They squeeze everything into one MCQ. Uh, so usually for this, right, I will put it as a structured question. Yes. Cannot convert what? Cannot convert to KWH first. Huh? You can not. Uh. But the H already in hours, ma. It's just your power. You can either work with 100 watts plus 25 plus 25 watts, or you can convert to 0 0.1 kilowatt plus 0 0.025 plus 0 0.025. Also can. As long as in the end you convert your W, your watts to KW when you're doing money calculation. Guys, this is the total power use. Right? Because I switch on all three lamps, 100 watts, 25 watts, 25 watts. So total I have 150 watts. I have to convert to KW, so I get 0 0.15 KW. I use it for a total time of 8 hours. So 0 0.15 times 8 is 1.2 KWH. This one I'm very certain. Okay? 1.2 KWH. Now 1 KWH is 21 cents. So 1.2 kWh should be 0. I get 0. 0.252. So the answer should be A. Which has a metal casing. So the brown wire is live, 240 volts. Blue wire correct. It is a uh, neutral. It is zero volt. But my yellow and green now it is touching the life itself, you know. That means the metal casing. So now the metal casing is live. The 
touching directly in the life terminal. So this is someone trying to kill us. So what are the effects if the plug is connected? Will it catch fire? Will the fuse in the plug blow? It will blow, right? Because the fuse is in the life, right? Correct. The metal casing is live. Yes. The neutral wire melt? No. So it's either two and three only. Why is the metal casing live? Ah? Because the earth wire is touching the metal case. A fuse with a rating of 13 ampere has blown, it was replaced with a fuse of rating 3A. That's even worse. The fuse blow and the kettle remains undamaged. Correct. Okay, it doesn't explode. Okay, two identical filament lamps rated 240 volts might be and 60 volts might be. Oh, don't have this, ah. Huh? Okay. This one do you have? Also don't have us, uh, so go to open. Huh? Yeah. Okay, name two electrical appliances with mixed use of the heating effect. So this one, you all can find out yourself, right? Okay, okay. Why so why so specific? Uh, what potato cooker? What Chinese Chinese? So either water heater, electric kettle, oven or hair dryer or electric iron. What is meant by the heating effect? They convert electrical energy to ah, but they call it internal store energy. The energy thing come back again. Okay. Then were you able to do the calculation? This is a, a typical question whereby they don't give your power in KW. So need to convert. And then 30 minutes. So have to convert to hours. Because as long as you see money sign, it means it must be in KWH. Okay? So you should get something like 21 cents. Okay, uh, D, a person always fill the electric kettle to the top even when only boiling enough water. For one cup of coffee, explain how the person is wasting money. Okay, this one. But I also have another yeah, P and V over here. Calculate the current. This one should be simple. Ah. Please apply the formula P equals to IV. Ah. Then new electric water heater has a power rating, a higher one than the old one. How does the power affect the cost? If I have higher power means not yet. Every second I'm using more energy. Just like a Ferrari and a normal Toyota car. Okay? Which one is more powerful? Ferrari, right? But can the Ferrari and the Toyota car both get you to the same destination? And if I make them travel at the same time, which one will use more energy? The Ferrari because the engine is more powerful. What is the formula? Energy equals to power times time. Okay, so with a higher power, with the same amount of time, it will use up more energy. What's the SI unit for? For which one? Energy, ah, Joe's. Okay, let's see the answer for C. The cost is higher because more energy is transferred electrically to the internal store of the power of the water. You don't get it. What is the power? One zero six nine zero. What is the voltage? Two thirty volts. What's the formula? Huh? P equals I V. Eh? Okay, uh. So hazard in damp condition already tell you the water can reduce resistance of a body. 
Okay, maybe you can say it reduces the resistance of a body. Lah. Actually, I'm not very comfortable with saying that water can conduct electricity. I know can. Everything also can conduct electricity. Can human conduct electricity? Can, right? So why don't we use all the dead bodies and uh, put them as wires? <laughs> like your ancestor, you dig them out, then you like, line them up, and then after that you conduct. <laughs> Instead of using copper pipe, right? Because they have higher resistance, although they can conduct electricity. So if water can conduct electricity, why don't we use water to conduct electricity? Why do we use power? Uh, why do we use a copper wire? Huh? No, uh, I can keep it inside a, a tube. Uh. Correct? So water actually reduces the resistance. <laughs> the hazard, huh? In damp condition, uh, because the water can reduce the resistance of our body. So in the event of an electrical fault, the person may get electric shock. Okay, in the event of electrical fault. Guys, all the appliances here are all safe to you. Okay, so even if I touch it, I won't get electric shock. Right? Nobody ever like, went like, uh, 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 correct? It's only when you suspect there is electrical fault, then you are more careful. Okay? So all these are safe. But when I use it in damp condition, the water will reduce my resistance. And if, very unluckily, there's an electrical fault, I may get electric shock. Okay? Okay? Okay, I will 